Hi guys, so it is the beginning of April 2024, which means that we are officially over the first quarter of the financial year. I thought it might be a good idea to hop on and discuss exactly how much I really earned and what my take home was for this quarter. Let's jump in. Firstly, you might be able to hear that banging in the background. I am so sorry if you can. In typical fashion, uh, next door have got builders in and if I wait for them to finish, I'm not gonna be able to upload anything for the foreseeable future. So I thought that we would just power through and um, fingers crossed it's not too bad. Secondly, I'm going to ask you, if you're a regular viewer, can you hit that subscribe button? YouTube has just informed me that the majority of my watchers um, our return repeat watchers but they're not actually subscribed and that hurts my chances of being picked up by new people and it also means that I'm not going to be able to monetize my channel with adverts so I would really appreciate it if you do like what you see and if it's been helpful in any way to drop that like button hit the bell notification if you want to be advised of when I upload and let's jump in so I actually thought that January this year was a bit slow. I took some time off early January, I think the first week, and um, just a holdover from Christmas, and it seemed to take a little bit of time for things to pick up. I also found out halfway through February that I had forgotten to open my Amazon handmade store, which meant that I had made no sales on that platform whatsoever. So my gross for January was £487.33 and that was just on two platforms. The biggest earner was Etsy followed by uh, my website. This year I've actually been in two minds as to whether or not to keep my website running because at the moment it's not breaking even by the time I've taken into account how much money I'm paying for subscriptions to actually run it and apps to run it and also the money that it's bringing in and the materials it costs to make the items. I think last year I had a few larger wholesale orders on there. On Etsy I took £413 and on my website I took £74. So obviously that's not a great amount, but it was okay. As I said, it was only for three weeks, so I was quite happy with that. My costs, however, were a different matter. The total costs for running my business, that includes all platform fees, materials, um, everything like that. It doesn't include taking a wage because I never take one. But the costs for January were actually £335, which is a huge amount. The biggest um, item on that was actually my Etsy fees and postage, which came in at £184, uh, which obviously for my gross is huge. My profit to cost ratio was actually cost coming out at 69%, which is awful. As I said, I don't take a wage um, if I did. <laughs> It would be well below minimum wage and yeah i don't think i'd be actually breaking even so not a good start to the year but as i've mentioned things are at the moment we're in a global recession things are just very much up in the air so that brings us on to february which was a leap year this year so we had a whole extra day my entire takings for february were 275 pounds 78 which is a big drop from january and it's about to get even worse. My cost for February came in at 20385, which means that I literally took 72 pound just under for the whole of February. It's shocking, um, it's a huge worry. And again, the biggest drain on my costs was Etsy fee and postage, which came in at just under 84 pound. Running a business isn't cheap, but as a lot of you know, Etsy keep putting their prices up, which means that I either have to put my prices up and face the reality that people aren't going to buy, especially with the global recession, or take the hit. At the moment, I've taken the hit, but that means I'm getting to the point um, where I'm considering whether or not my business is actually viable. The cost percentage for the whole of February rose to 74% which again is awful. Um, it means that just over 26% of my whole takings were profit. And when I say profit, as I said, there's no wage that's taken out of that. So again, it's really not good. I was hoping that now that everybody had settled, got into 
work Christmas was over um, obviously we had Valentine's Day but looking ahead to March there were things like Mother's Day so I was really hopeful that March would pick up sadly March didn't pick up and I took 248 pound which is obviously a lot less um, even than February when you're dealing with such small figures it's you know quite a difference uh, the biggest thing that I noticed on the two months since January, February and March when my website sales were down. Although I was making sales, I again wasn't breaking even. So at the back of my mind, I'm considering whether or not it's worth keeping my website open. Currently, I think it costs me uh, £31 a month. That's just to subscribe to uh, Shopify and have, I think it's one, uh, one uh, app that's on there and that's it. So, you know, by the time you've paid for that, you can get it slightly cheaper if you do it on a yearly basis, but I don't have the money to invest in that at the moment. And I'm just wondering whether or not it's worth closing it out and going back to the old days of just using um, PayPal invoicing. Either that, or I need to really have a look this year at how to optimize my website, which at the moment is something that I feel completely overwhelmed with. I understand the basics and the mechanics, but other than that, actually getting traffic to my store is a huge headache and an overwhelmed mess. When we look at the costs for March, they come in at 168 and 45p, um, which means that my net was almost £80, which interestingly is a tiny bit more than February, even though I earned less. So it just goes to show that obviously some months are going to be a lot more expensive than others. We obviously know this. And my highest uh, earning platforms, again, were Etsy and actually Amazon. Um, I didn't make a huge amount of sales, but I did make more than I have done. So if we take that all into account, my gross for the first quarter this year was just under £1,011 with my cost coming in at 70731 and my profit for January, February, March was just over £303. So <laughs> it's not great. It's what £101 per month on average. Um, the one thing I will say is that compared to previous years, I have cut right down on the amount of time that I am actually spending on my business. So if we were going to look at it from that point of view, I am probably only spending four hours a week on Chibi Chi. There's been 12 weeks in the first um, quarter of the year. And if we times that by four, it's 48. So actually my average hourly rate works out at £6.31. So <laughs> definitely way below minimum wage, but actually an increase uh, compared to where it's been before. So looking ahead for the next quarter, I have taken some steps. I was approached by a company that wanted to work with me to try and help push um, my website on Google Ads. I have had my first sale with them. The company is called Order Legend and how it works is they put their own money into advertising with Google Ads. <laughs> um, they obviously know what they're doing unlike me I feel that if I was to spend my own money it would literally just be throwing money at Google and seeing no return uh, when I make a sale uh, they charge me 12% commission on that which is obviously still a lot less than Etsy overall um, and I don't pay unless I make a sale so I'm hoping that this is going to bring traffic to my website. It's early days. As I said, I've only had one order so far, but hopefully it works. If not, I am going to have to be looking again at closing down the website properly. I have in the past gone to um, apparent SEO um, experts and given them the login credentials to access and overhaul my store. And surprise, surprise, nothing has really come of it. Um, I am in a competitive market, I understand that, but I don't quite know the steps that I need to take to make sure that my website is ranking in front of the right people for Google. So that's kind of outside of my expertise. Um, I'm also going to start having a look at um, 
places like Fort Fort and Card Gallery, which are stockists of my actual designs. It's kind of a print on demand service. I think that this may make a good passive income for me. I already do make sales on there and that's with only a few designs. So it's definitely something that I'm hoping to look at in quarter two. So in the interest of full transparency, I'm always happy to share my totals with you because I know from experience of watching YouTube creators, sometimes you think that uh, they are successful because they have an Etsy shop and they might have a YouTube channel based on that. So this is to tell you that yes, I used to be one of those successful channels. Unfortunately, my actual sales, especially on Etsy, have completely petered off. Um, I am hopeful that maybe one day that would change, but at the moment I am having to focus my time on uh, places where it does make money, so such as my virtual assistant career and my dental nursing business, um, because it's not wise for me to be able to take the time that I could be actually making guaranteed income and putting it into GPT at the moment, especially while things are so uncertain. So this is just kind of a keep hanging in there if you're in a similar um, spot as I am. Sadly, I am seeing on an almost daily basis uh, much larger handmade businesses that me on social media seem to be going under and that is very sad and very frightening. I know that I am lucky that I have managed to pivot my career so that the bills are not dependent on my sales anymore and I can just kind of keep this ticking over nicely in the background um, until such a time that things do improve and then hopefully it will be my main earner again. I haven't given up hope of that happening one day, fingers crossed. So thank you so much for joining me. I do hope that you find it interesting when I have full transparency about my figures. A little reminder, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, are you a new business? Um, how has this made you feel about the future on Etsy especially? Are you an established business? Is this something you're going through yourself? Or are you an established business and you are absolutely killing it? In which case, well done you, that's fantastic. Let me know. I always respond to my comments, um, especially those that are published in the first 24 hours. So happy watching and I will see you next time. Bye.